Your life is a remarkable story and adventure that only you can create. We exist to motivate and equip you to live fully alive. My uh, name is Dan. Welcome in to Going Up. My name is Dan. <laughs> my name is Susie. Together we are up. doozy. <laughs> we are going up with my Nehemiah story. This is part seven. And this is talking about dreaming with a plan. We talked about desire. The next step is dream. And we're going to climb some stairs together to help you move forward, not just to dream, but actually put some feet on that like Nehemiah. So here, this dream with a plan is brought to you by Nehemiah chapter 2, verses 5 to 17. Now, we are not going to read the whole we thing. Invite we invite you to get you out to your that. Bible and to read that. Pause this really quickly. Read those verses, but here are five themes that you're going to notice in that passage. One is, I can rebuild it. It's very interesting that Nehemiah, when he was talking to the king, one of the things he said was, I can rebuild. Now you have to remember, he's a slave. He's probably always worked for the king or in this area. He's been trained in this area. He has never rebuilt a wall, probably. He's never uh, taken control of a city and been like a governor. Never before, but he states, it's a dream about I can. And then the second part is, how long will your journey take and when will you get back? This is a question that came from the king and the queen. And this has to do with time. How much time is it going to take? Yeah. And I think oftentimes I hear people talking about a dream and they're not talking about any time. When's it going to happen? It's just I want to do this about. or I want to do that. It's when? About. When? We've got to set some dates. In a year from now, I want to be doing that. Whatever it is, put a date to it. And the next part is, may I have letters? Nehemiah asks specifically for two letters. Not only did he plan and he had a time orientation, but he knew what he needed. Yeah. Safety and wood. He was going to be building his own place. He was going to be setting beams up in the city. He needed wood. He didn't want to steal the wood. The king owned the wood. Give me letters to get some of that wood. And it's dangerous out there. So it's a four and a half month journey. There are enemies out there. Give me safety. Letters of safety. And the king did that. Fourth part is come let us rebuild the mm. wall of Jerusalem and we will no longer be in disgrace. So it, this, was a this was a bit of of a dream and it is a dream to keep people from disgrace even yeah but i love it because he goes at first from i can rebuild it to let us rebuild it there is yep. a change here and i think this is where our dreams have to go if if they're going to succeed they need to move away from me even though that's what gets it started god works in that way to get us to move forward but if god gives us a dream he's probably given other people the same one we need to bring those together and finally, it was God and the king are with us. And this is amazing because for 142 years, they didn't build the wall. They didn't put anything back in place because they thought the king was against them. And they didn't really honor the, the God who could have years ago helped them uh, yeah. with this. But now they realize the king and the God is with them. Yeah, super cool. So last week or or section six we talked about our desire and we had the past story the present story and the future story now take that desire as your base to lead forward from your dream my desire is about uh potential that i love to influence potential and so my dream has to do with people my dream has to do with what i can do with people and helping them grow Helping them move forward. So I want you in your mind to put uh, a set of stairs going into a house. Uh, a set of stairs going up. And, and there are five steps. And if you're going to dream with a plan, this plan that Nehemiah has laid out is a really good plan for you to move your story forward. Uh, step one that we step into is dream about I can. So when I take when I take my own desire about influencing p potential, I've been dreaming about my girls here locally, who I can invest in. And I just want to start with, I can, that this is a possibility for me. It is a reality for me. And I have a group of girls that I am investing in. So I, yeah, I can. One of the things I've been dreaming about lately that I can do is I can grow in my magical skills. 
So I dream about that. I, I literally go to bed dreaming. I yes, wake up does. dreaming. I, I'm writing. I'm practicing. Uh, that is a huge dream of I can. But then we go to the second step. So plan a time. When is it going to happen? For me, with my girls that I'm meeting with, I'm meeting with them regularly, a small group, online course, but also when can we meet together? And we found the third Tuesday of every month is when we try to gather at my house for a meal and to hang out and to go deeper with each other. So it's the third Tuesday of the month is our general standing monthly time that we get together. Uh, for me and the whole magic, I need to have something I'm working towards. A couple weeks ago, I did a Boy Scout show. Tomorrow, we're doing a, a large MC fundraising for a nonprofit. This, when I know there's something ahead to that be practicing kicks you for, in. it kicks me in for sure. So when in my steps, it's tomorrow. The next step, the third step, is to plan the needs. What, what do you need? So for me, I needed some girls, I needed a time, I needed a location, but I also needed, I need to know what we're going to talk about. Well, I, I came across this book on the heart and the condition of the heart, and I always like to have a topic, like a series of things that we're going to discuss, journey with, get to know each other better, and to go deeper with, and this book is it, about yeah. the heart. So what did I need? Uh, a couple weeks ago, I went to a, um, a workshop with a magician, a professional magician, uh, and it was three and a half hours long, and we, we basically only learned coins and a few card things. And, uh, and, and if you were to step into my computer and look down, you would see <laughs> coins and card things because I, I needed some, some training. Uh, and now I'm working on skills with my hands. Nice moves so, there. Thank you very much. Yeah. So that is what I needed. I needed to get with some other magicians and and, and learn. Get inspired. Some, some, some basics again. And the next step is dream about we. Why are we getting together? Why, why is it happening? What effect is going to happen? These girls that I'm meeting with are all married. They all have husbands. They all have work situations where they have ripple effects. And I want, I want to connect to them because I love that. That is one of my gifts. It's one of my strengths. But also, they need it. Mm. And so the combination of us together is really important. Yeah, and one of the things for me, the we, there's a few organizations I'm looking at where I can bring some of my skills in magic alongside of them uh, to help grow their uh, connection with people but also looking open some doors with some churches going in and working with couples in their church. So this would be my dream connecting with their dream uh, going up together. And that's one of the whys that it you're is. doing it. Yeah. And the fifth step is the reality of who. Now, what does that mean in now, my situation? The who in Nehemiah's situation was the God and the king were with him. For me, when I am thinking of the reality of who, Susie is my biggest cheerleader. She is uh, there saying, uh, do you need to buy that? Is there a book? Is there this? Or buy it. Uh, and I, I Or practice think, it. Or practice it. You can it. do it. I want to see what you've been if, practicing. If, if these cards are sitting here, she wants them out of the box and in my hands. Uh, let me see what you've been working on. But it's not a, a threat to me. It is a, um, a very pleasant push. Oh, that's nice. So what would be the who for, for my situation? Is that the girls that I'm going to mentor? Or is it the blessing, the blessing of God on me, through me, with with us together? It, in Nehemiah's story, it's like the king, the king's blessing, right? I don't know. I thought you were going to answer it yourself. You I'm, to I'm thinking it for of you? all the options right there. <laughs> I think it is you. You you Am I the who? You have these dreams and you have these passions. And for years, how can you make a difference in people's lives? I, I think love that. There are people who have supported you to do this. There's education. There's mentors. There are parents. Okay, so this is like there, the impact. There are the a impact. whole cloud of people around you. Cloud of witnesses. Who 
I believe they're the reality of your who. It, it is God. Yeah. It is people. Yeah. It is me. Yes. Uh, it uh, is did the I people forget you're to say with. you? Yeah, Dan is a big. <laughs> he's a big supporter. He's a big mind. encourager. He calls it on me. She doesn't forget me very often because I drive. Yeah. <laughs> so what about you? How can you dream with a plan? Uh, how can you just affirm that you can? Plan that time of when you need to put that dream into practice. It's not just the intention of the dream, but you have have actually the actions that go with it. Plan the needs. What do you need to make happen your dream? Dream about the we. Who else do you need to include? And what's the why of all these other people in there? And the reality of who? The blessings, who has poured in, who's made it possible, who do you need to be a partner with you in the dream? So this is Dreaming with a Plan. Uh, a while ago, we put out in Passionality uh, the whole idea of the story spine. If you don't know what you desire, this is a very good tool. You can just sort of snap it. But it's once upon a time I desired to. What do you desire? Do but magic. I, do yours. Oh, once upon a time, I desired to be very proficient uh, with a cl with close up magic, but I but I was too busy. I didn't practice, and I was getting older and losing my skill. Until one day, I went to this workshop where Eric Jones uh, showed me some things I could do. He literally came and he touched my hands and helped me to move things around. And because so cool. of that, um, I picked up a few bigger coins. That I love these bigger coins. I've been working on them a lot. Uh, because of that, I'm going to tomorrow night do something as I walk around with coins. And because of that, in the future, I think I'll be able to go to uh, restaurants or different locations and and simply uh, perform for them. Uh, in about four months from now, I'm going to a big magic convention. I want to be able to sit around with people like in the dining area and also uh, perform magic. That's great. Until finally, uh, I will have the skills that I need uh, and maybe the confidence and the stories to be able to charge uh, a good amount of money to go into different places and do close-up magic. And since that day... And since that day, when I'm there... This is the moral of the story. I find great delight in, in performing. Far more than making money, far more than having them go, wow, when I create magic... I find satisfaction. So in since that day, it's good. <laughs> That's awesome. So try this story spine with your dream. Once again, don't just have the intention of the dream, but roll it out with some action steps with those five, those five steps that we just uh, went through. Here they are again about can, when, what, why, and who and dream with a plan. May you live fully alive as you love your life, your world, and your God. My name's Dan. My name is Susie. Together, Together we, we are, are doozy. doozy. Live fully. And love fully. Thank you so much for joining us. A few more parts to come. Dream. You can. <laughs>